She must be about half hour late. Uh, you wouldn't want to start worrying about a half an hour. You English, you worry too much about the time. Over here, half an hour either way is no problem. And then, there's no pressure. Right, thanks. What are you hoping to get out of this, aren't you, Pauline? I'm not hoping to get anything out of it. Well, it must be something. I suppose, in a way, I, I'm hoping to find Lou. Graham. For some reason or other, I've got it into my head that Maggie's going to be just like her. Well, are you sure we're ready for another one? You loved your Graham. You were always our favourite. Yeah, I did. And I'll tell you something, Auntie Pauline. If Graham was still here now, my life wouldn't have turned out like this. No. She wouldn't have let it. None of them would have. It all went to pieces after she died. <laughs> I remember when I was pregnant with Mark, I was still ever so young and I was terrified about what she was going to say, but she just sat there and listened and then she put her hand in a bag and took out a fiver. It was worth a lot in them days. Mm. Said it was for the baby. Oh, of my pregnancy, she was just so kind. I think you know why now. Hello there. No, 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 no. Back off, Sean. I just want to talk to the lady. Get off! She don't want to talk to you. Oh, what play are you playing? Oh. Oh, look what you've gone and done now. Oh, oh look at me. It's all over me. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about all oh, this. So am I. Sean, I think you owe me a pint. You what? A pint, or else the lady can give me a kiss. Now, come on, Sean, you go out and get some fresh air and come back when you're sober and leave the lady alone. I wouldn't trust the old Just child. look at it, stupid man. I knew this was a bad idea. I'll have to go and change now. Um, well, I'll tell you, why don't you wait here just in case Maggie turns up? I'll, uh, I'll take your key and get you something, yeah? Yeah, blue sweater and jeans, please. Oh. Arlene? Yeah? I thought it must be you. I'm Brenda, Maggie's daughter-in-law. Oh, right. Well, I've just got to... Ah, don't worry about that. It looks fine. But I'll have to get changed. Oh, we haven't got time. Come on. Oh, Ruth, look at the state of me. What a mess.